Today we're going to look at one way to assess the reliability of the New Testament, manuscripts. Now manuscripts are the original writings of ancient figures like Aristotle, Plato, and even Tacitus. Now of course there was no printing press 2,000 years ago, so copies were written on paper, usually papyrus, that was so thin it would ultimately wear out and just disintegrate. Therefore, a copy of the original would have to be made, and eventually that copy would begin to wear, and a copy of that one would have to be made. So one way that historians and textual critics evaluate the accuracy of these ancient documents is to look at two things. One is how many years have passed between the original penning by the author and the manuscripts that we have, the first ones we found. The second is how many copies do we actually have? So let's look at some. For Julius Caesar, we have 1,000 years that passed between his original penning and the first copy we found. Now with that, we have 10 copies. Aristotle, we have 1,400 years between the original and the first copy with 49 manuscripts, which is a little better. Let's look at Homer. This one is even better with only 500 years and over 640 manuscripts. What about the New Testament? Where does that fall? There's 5,600 or more Greek manuscripts, 24,000 in various languages of the New Testament. And in fact, we even have a fragment of Mark's gospel dated to within 40 years of when Mark originally wrote it. Now keep in mind, the more years that pass between the original and the first copy, the greater the chance of error. Compare 40 years to 500, 1,000, or more. Daniel Wallace, who is one of the world's leading experts in textual criticism, says, We have more and earlier manuscript evidence about the person of Jesus Christ than anyone else in the ancient world, including Julius Caesar and Alexander the Great. Apologist Sean McDowell puts it like this. When it comes down to it, we accept what we know about Julius Caesar and Alexander the Great, but we question what we know about Jesus. Why is that? Because it really doesn't matter what we think about Julius Caesar or Alexander the Great, but it does matter who we think Jesus is. In fact, Jesus said the greatest question you can ask is who do you say that I am? 